Hi everybody, this is video of a student experiment to do stoichiometric analysis of a hydrate compound. The hydrate the students were working with for this lab was copper sulfate. Uh, so you can see that that sample is being added into an evaporating dish which has been masked to determine the mass of the empty evaporating dish. Then the students are going to add the sample of copper sulfate and they'll measure the mass again after, um, after adding the sample in order to determine the mass of copper sulfate present in the evaporating dish. Now what the students were doing here is uh, they're going to heat the sample of copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is a chemical compound that belongs in a category that we call hydrates. That means that uh, they're hydrated. There's actually water incorporated within the uh, crystal lattice of the compound. Uh, and what is true of hydrates is that there's always going to be a specific ratio of the compound to water. For copper sulfate, it happens to be a 1 to 5 ratio, so we call it copper sulfate pentahydrate. You can see with heating that the sample is actually changing color, and this is because the sample is actually being dried. It's somewhat analogous to what a wet sponge looks like. Imagine a wet blue sponge versus what the sponge looks like when it's been dried out. The blue is, is much less vivid. It's a lot uh, lighter of a color. So we can see that that's happened with the copper sulfate sample here. At the end of the experiment, the students are, are massing this to determine the change in mass. And the change in mass is due to the water that was driven off by the heating of the sample. Uh, what we are seeing the students do at this point of the experiment is just a repeat heating, just to make sure that their sample is fully dried. Once they've heated it again, they'll once again allow that sample to cool in order to determine the final mass of the sample. What we're shooting for is repeat measurements that aren't changing. This would indicate to the students that the sample was fully dried. That's the end of this lab video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope it was helpful.